Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is Bitcoin Morpheus, and thank you all for exiting the matrix and joining us with Bitcoin and Inti Campo, who's right here. How are you doing today? All right, you know, enough of that. <laughs> Today we got a show, man, uh, a crazy show for you. Uh, we're going to be talking about what's going on with BitMEX and how uh, basically they attempted to evade the U.S. regulators and how, you know, if if you're on this planet and you have a business and you accept Americans into that business, you are absolutely registered with the American government. You need to understand that. <laughs> Then we're also going to talk about also the breaking news. Uh, Trump has coronavirus along with his uh, wife. And we're going to be talking a bit about that. And before we do that, we're going to be also be talking about uh, the, the doing some uh, TA and showing you what's going on with the market. And also, I'm going to show you a little bit about the depth of market and how if these guys decide to dump Bitcoin onto the market, it's going to be a hairy ride, and I'm going to show you why. All right, uh, before we get on to the, the TA of the day, inti has got a few words to say. Yes. As always, people use words to remind you that this video is for entertainment purposes only, and this is not financial advice. Please do your own research before putting any of your hard-earned money on the market. All right, awesome, Inti, awesome. Uh, you're looking good there. I think the, the the new I switched over the camera, so yeah, it's a lot better. I'm not HD anymore. <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> But you're looking better. About it. Yeah, you're looking. You look. It's not bad. It's not as bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So let's let's before we get <laughs> onto the, the main topic, let's first uh, talk about what's going on. Look, look what look what happened. Remember, I've been saying it. I've been saying this for a while, right? Ever since we got we started, uh, we went above the 13 MA. What did I say? I said that. Eh, I find it hard to believe we're not going to come back and touch these uh, SARS. All right. After we after we did this. And, and went back up, and I was like, okay, that's weird. We should have, like, broken the SARS before we decided to go higher. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. I knew we were going to break the SAR. And what we did, we finally did it. Yes, you might say, well, it took some news events to do that. If it wasn't for, uh, 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 what's it called, um, a BitMEX and the Corona Rona, right, hitting the Trump, the president, it, Bitcoin wouldn't have done that. Maybe, maybe not, but uh, uh, we'll never know for sure. But I can tell you that this is how the market work, right? There, I, I felt there was no way that we were going to go higher and leave these SARS telling us, yeah, 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 you're right. You could, you could like uh, just, you know, move, move your stop losses here, right? And then keep moving them up higher and higher and higher and start making money. No way. That the market never lets you make money like that easy, never, never, never. <laughs> so, so I I got the I had the feeling that this is going to happen. Now, unfortunately, right, um, a lot of things uh, I don't know what's 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 going to happen with the Bitmax and whether or not they dump onto the market. We're going to talk a little bit about the depth of market after we get to after we do Ethereum. But first, let's take a look and, and, and congratulate Inti. On, let's take a look at the four. I'll congratulate Inti <coughs> because remember what we were talking about, right? Um, yesterday, we were looking at Inti's trade and we thought he was done for sure. We even got rid of the trade, actually. Is <laughs> <laughs> it the Delgan group if you want to check it out? Yeah, it's, yeah that's true. Uh, let's just bring that up. Uh, let's see here. Where is my telegram? Ahí está. There it is. Alrighty. And so, yeah, the scam went yeah, today. Yeah, scam went. <laughs> but you know, you know, with that W form in, mm -hmm. I said, okay, I'm done for. But then John Wick came and said, no, 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 I ain't got ya. Boom! <laughs> yeah. Nice. Right nice. into the target. Nice. Look at that. It was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, excellent work, NT. Uh, congratulations on that trade. Alrighty. Um, so if you want to learn how to trade like Inti, of course, right? Um, 
Or even better. Or even better, yes, exactly. <laughs> even better than Sorry, me. I couldn't hear what you said. Oops, uh, I, it looks like I accidentally triggered uh, uh, Siri there. And so you could head over to uh, the Rational Investor uh, and just type in rationalinvestor.davinciej15.com. Links in the description below. And you'll get $50 off the, the, the educational program uh, where Inti learned how to do these trades. Okay. And so did I. All right. And I learned all this stuff. All this magical stuff that you think you might be looking at this and going, oh, man, I can never do this kind of stuff. Yes, you can. Just requires education and work, right? Hard work. If you're willing to put in the work and effort, you can learn this stuff and easily become the uh, a crypto prognosticator. <laughs> I'm not even saying that right, but oh well. Anyways, so <laughs> terrible man. <laughs> I know. I'm. I, I. I woke up today on the wrong side of the bed. I am <laughs> off my game today. So, and I got the cold, a little bit of a cold. But anyways, let's 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 move on. The show must go on. So, um. Not looking so good, looking at the four hour. I was hoping that, you know, we'd put a fork in it. Maybe, you know, make this, this that, that wick a little bit higher than, just a little bit higher than this wick, right? It still would have taken out the SAR, but no. That's, at least we bounced off of the, the, the uh, this trend line that I was, I just, I, I drew like a little while ago. After, it's not, it's an early trend line. It's not really confirmed perfectly. If we bounce off of it, then you could say, okay, it's a positive trend line. Um, we can we could see us go as even as high as eleven thousand um, before we can um, we can say, okay, well maybe we this trend this if we bounce on this trend line, we can say that this trend line is is in effect. Any kind of reversal from like the eleven thousand will be uh, supported by that trend line. Right. So that's a key thing to uh, remember. Alrighty. Um, is there a trade here, right? Um, with the fact that, um, you know, we're close to this trend line. On the four hour, I wouldn't say so. I would say, yeah, you're. The volume says you could probably go for it. The um, RSI, the MACD says yeah not a chance you're 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 smoking drugs <laughs> let's go down to the one hour um and see if there's any kind of help here uh yes there is you can see that one hour is has created a divergence that has not confirmed yet um but don't count on these one this is this is not going to be a, a strong kind of divergent for you to uh, take a trade off of. Of course, the the stronger trade trades come at the four hour or the higher time frames. Um, but you can do some sort of small work here. Should this uh, what I would suggest you do um, is should this confirm, meaning that we go we pump up, we maybe go up to the uh, we go up to the Bollinger, top of the Bollinger Band or something like that. This thing um, confirms, right, by breaking above here, or it confirms on the um, the the one hour. Then you uh, you set your buy order probably near or at this trend line, or at the uh, at the hail mary, right, uh, which would be whatever. It would be difficult to uh, do because we don't know how high this thing has to bounce before before we draw the hail mary. But anyways, basically the only thing I can say is right now is somewhere near at the trend line is where you'd enter to take this a lot higher all right let's move on to ethereum now and see i remember seeing ethereum bleeding out first remember nt we were, we were you were like oh my god look at it yesterday oh my god look at ethereum i was like oh my god look at uh bitcoin <laughs> yeah that's right yeah and uh, then you were like freaking out so yeah um uh, problem problem we have houston we have a problem we have the same problem actually on bitcoin let me just let me just point that out first let me just point that out anybody notice something uh forming uh in on the on the daily there <clears throat> anyone 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 yeah <laughs> that's right the market is smiling at us and it's not looking good right they're looking to like Take our money. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Alrighty then. Not good. Not good at all. 
Well, the same thing is happening here. This is a double smile, man. This is like, this is like, you know, insult to injury here, right? It's like right here and right there. Oops, my mouse just tripped up there for a second. Control Z. Oops, Control Z. Nope, no Control Z. All right, um, let me just undo that somehow. Alrighty, and try again. There we go. Right, you can see a little bit of a smile. We dumped already, so you can say that that one's completed, and you'd be right. It is completed. So, why can't I undo all these things? That's weird. The undo is not working. Okay. So let me just get rid of this one and that one and then point out the bigger one that's really scary right it's this right <laughs> well of course we have to go further down right we have to break this level the 311 level but ouch we don't want to talk about where we're going to be going right um or do we right well i guess we have to live in reality okay so Maybe, maybe the best case scenario, right? But I don't think so. Clone is like an A, B equals C, D, which doesn't take us very far, right? Which would be, this would make sense, actually. That would make the most sense because that's where, um, you know, there's a lot of support here at the 280. So you got to you gotta give this a little bit of credit here, right? Yeah, so that would make the most sense. For us to go down to the 280 level, um, if we did that um, and we did a divergence, um, yeah, I'd have to say, yeah, that that would be uh, that would be some place where you'd want to do take a a, a, a a long trade. Assuming we did this and we do we created a divergence heading into this 280 level, alrighty, um, not good. Not good at all, basically. All right, which, let's head over to the main topic of today. Um, I was going to um, make it... Uh, no, no, what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to that main topic, which was BitMax. But no, I'm going to talk about um, the uncertainty that the president, right? Don, president Donald Trump announced earlier Friday, which is today, uh, that he has he and his wife are tested positive for the Corona Rona <laughs> and, and an extraordinary development coming months into a global pandemic and in the final stretch of the re-election re campaign in which he uh, has flouted, flouted, flouted experts and guidance on uh, preventing the disease's spread. Okay. Okay, first off, right? Uh, I think it, as long as he has the two things, hydrochloroquine and zinc, right? Uh, he'll be all right. <laughs> right? If there's one person in <laughs> the whole world that could have it, it's here. Yeah, yeah, because, and you know what? He's been, this this, this virus is not as scary as uh, as you think, right? Um, yes, it's pretty, he, his his uh, probability of dying is, is 0 0.5. Or, or right um, percent, but um, because he's the president, and you know, um, I, I've seen the evidence that they already know how to survive this this, this problem, this this particular virus. Right, it's not that dangerous, and it's you you can you can more than survive this virus. Right, you could actually beat this thing, so long as your immune system is healthy. So one, you need. One, if you keep uh, receiving vitamin D because it attacks your uh, production of vitamin D um, uh, as well. So if you stay out in sunlight maybe or um, take a lot of vitamin D pills or there's another uh, supplement, which uh, I, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I was reading about it. But anyways, it's uh, a hyper dose of vitamin D you could take and that will help you uh, survive the virus. It's not the end of the world. Now, if he does die... I think uh, I think you should roll out your conspiracy theories. 
<laughs> because there's no reason why he should die um, um, because of this virus. Absolutely none, if you ask me. So it'd be interesting if uh, if 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 Joe Biden dies. Uh, again, I think you should roll out the conspiracy theories, right? Uh, I don't know what's going on. There's no reason why both of those people should not um, survive the coronavirus. All right. With that said, uh, let's talk about uh, BitMEX um, dumping their coins uh, after, you know, being arrested, right? Uh, you know, not everybody was arrested, of course. Uh, Arthur Hayes, I wouldn't mind if he was uh, in jail because I don't know. Uh, you, it, when you say stupid things, you're gonna get, you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get stupid results, right, from everybody. When you say things like, "Oh, investors are are um, uh, Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin hodlers are uh, what's it called degenerate gamblers," you know, you know that's not gonna go over well, right? When you say, "Oh, I'm in the seashells." Because I could bribe officials for a coconut. You know, that's not going to go over well, okay? So, <laughs> you, 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 you're going you're gonna to be going down, right? Um, this guy's going to be going down. I mean, does he deserve it because he runs a stupid business? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not, right? That uh, just, you know, allows you to do gambling on the casino, this business. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I think people should be free to um, to do these kind of things. I just wish he wasn't such a jerk about it, right? Um, um, and so I'm not going to lose. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be. You know, cheering on the fact that he should be released. Yes, he should be, and you shouldn't go to jail for like oh, serving Americans with uh, with. Uh, with the access to gamble their their life savings away, right through their this casino like exchange, and obviously with this the, the fact that you know this is his exchange has serious problems, which they're betting against you. They have like crazy wicks on their exchange, right? They have um, you know uh, they overload and so forth. I mean, everybody should uh, you know each eat to each their own, and they should uh, realize that. You know, this guy is, you know, not on your best, is not working towards your best interest. And, and yeah, maybe there's a little bit of fraud there going on, um, but not the, not this, the fact that, oh, he should have done KYC. This is what they're arresting him for, KYC, basically. Oh, he didn't do KYC, he didn't know your customer. Big freaking deal, right? Like, really? That's not, the, that's not something you should be arresting this guy for. <laughs> but whatever, right? Um, let me just go on to the fact that it. Why? Let's talk about the, the, the. Let's learn something new. Maybe, maybe you don't know what the depth of market is, right? What is the depth of market, right? Because like everybody's scared that this guy's got two hundred thousand bitcoins. What's the, what happens when he dumps it onto the market, right? Um, yeah, it would be catastrophic, basically. Of course, if he tried to dump all to all of his two hundred thousand bitcoins, which would be silly, um, that's a lot of money, and that's enough money for him to de defend. And uh, you know what? It makes it harder for the government to get at it if he just you know sticks it in his head, right? <laughs> and not uh, sticks his cold wallet in his head, and not uh, you know have it on any kind of device. Uh, basically, the, he could um, easily uh, pay his, uh, and, and you know, you could, you could, you could always like, um, you know, um, store different places, small amounts of the the uh, Bitcoin on uh, on uh, what's it called, paper wallets, in different locations, so that you could like, oh, I want to spend a little bit, right? But the bulk of it, he should have in his head, and not um, not anywhere. Um, uh, that uh, the government can actually seize, right? But anyways, let's move on to to the depth of market. What the depth of market is is basically when you see the price of a Bitcoin, right? That's an artificial number. That's not the price that you can actually sell it at or buy it at. <laughs> that is the number of what the last person bought or sold it at. That's it. And let's just say, let's just pretend 
you wanted to, to sell to buy 10 bitcoins right now well right now the price is ten thousand four hundred and fifty five if you tried to buy 10 bitcoins you'd raise the price to ten thousand four hundred and sixty two right almost right so just to just by buying 10 bitcoins 10 sorry that was uh, 10 bitcoins now in the other flip side, if you were to try to sell 10 Bitcoins, or let's just see here, 20 Bitcoins, because it's easier, right? 20 Bitcoins, you could you could drop the price, not by much, right? Notice how there's a lot of people, there's somebody there that's waiting to buy 20 Bitcoins worth if you were to sell it to them. And, and that would be, you know, dropped to uh, 10,448, right? But notice it has nothing to do with the actual price to, that it's at the reason why is because uh, when you s people can set uh, a buy order at any price that they want to buy it at and they don't have to buy it at the current price or the price that people are willing to sell it at they could go oh you know what you you want you want my cash you want my cash well you're gonna have to to give it to me at uh, uh, you're gonna have to to, to give me those bitcoins for ten thousand four hundred fifty, right? If you want my cash, right? And that's what that's that's how it works, right? And so you can see, as it builds up over time, you, these are a whole bunch of people setting up. Okay, you know what? Oh, you want you want a lot of cash? You want a lot of cash? Well, you're gonna have to like you, you you're gonna have to like uh, you know, give me my price, which is like let's just say you have four, you want a four hundred bitcoins. You're gonna have to, you know, uh, you know, drop the price, and and, and sell it to me at uh, to ten thousand two hundred. That's how the market works, and then of course it works on the opposite side. So if Arthur Hayes were to drop ten, uh, like let's just say a thousand Bitcoin, he would move the market to nine thousand seven hundred. Now you might, some of you will say, well, how do you know somebody will not jump in? Yes, people will probably jump in in front of him as he hits the sell button right to to um you know hold the market up but uh, a lot of people will go yeah you know what uh, i think this guy's a motivated seller so i'm gonna pull my order and not um give it to him at this at, at the high high price of ten thousand two hundred dollars i'm actually gonna wait down here and to give it to him right at the uh, nine thousand uh, nine thousand seven hundred Right, so right, it all depends on the individuals that are behind each of these um, buy orders, and so that's the, this. So you could say, well, yeah, we don't know exactly how far it could go, and yeah, that's the truth. We're not gonna, we're not, we don't know how far it can go. But I would say there's going to be buyers, probably at the nine thousand dollar level, that's holding this up, and the furthest it can go, if you were to dump all his two hundred thousand Bitcoin. Probably around the seven thousand dollar level, seven to six thousand dollar level, six to seven thousand dollar level. So, um, I would, I, I, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. It will do massive amounts of damage, technical damage, to the price structure, meaning that we're not going to see uh, fifteen thousand this year. Um, we're going to see it probably next year. And uh, uh, you know, it, things will be slowed down a little bit if if uh, a lot of cash if you if he cashes out anytime soon. But I think that would be dumb. Um, if someone were to um, uh, cash out their bitcoins to uh, to move the cash, it makes it easier for the government to seize. That's all, and so it doesn't make any sense to do that, right? Um, because they can just press a button. Or make a phone call. Yeah. yeah. A bank of Bahamas? Yeah, yeah. This is the president, right? You're going you're gonna to put that money. See that count? Three, four, five, six? You're going to put that on hold, right? No? Okay. You know, you can't have any dollars anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it, it's easy to get out. It's easy to, to uh, you know, stop anyone 
from uh, you know using the dollars right um, in their bank account so it doesn't make any sense for him to cash out cash this out cash out his Bitcoin so we don't have to worry about that all right so let's move on uh, to the question and answer of the day I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it short I'm gonna just do three questions Inti uh, and then I'm I'm gonna uh, end the, the stream for both twitch and for YouTube for today because I'm not 100%. All right. So please forgive me. Thank you guys for um, joining this sh show today. But uh, please forgive me. And I will, uh, uh, I will uh, make it up to you next week. All right. All right. First question. So let's see what I can get from here. Uh, the first one is going to be from Kim Allen. And Allen asks, a Bitcoin price is impressively on panic so far. How we leveled up? um I, I i don't think so it's good that we've we've uh you know like you've said uh it does this jump was not it could have been like a lot worse a lot worse but we didn't you didn't we didn't see a lot of volume we didn't see a lot of like oh my god the world's ending oh my god because um i think the the the, the bulls are trying to defend this this level here with everything they've got basically so the bears are like a little like oh 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 okay <laughs> okay i see what you're doing there right so the bears don't want to get hurt right either right so it's it's basically you know seeing who's gonna flinch first um right now and uh and this is this is this was expected for me from my point of view this this level here is expected whether or not uh, uh, we could turn around from here is a two, is a different story. And it, remember, if you want to trade this, right, make sure you, you should be uh, you should learn how to trade first, right. And then once you do, right, you could do so at uh, femex. davincij com, and uh, yeah, um, you'll get some bonuses for uh, doing so if you use my uh, link. Also, the link is also in the description below, so check that out. And, uh, you know, if you own Pandora's, uh, no, sorry, if you own DaVinci J15 tokens, uh, there's a possibility that you can uh, actually get some money uh, uh, from the from from any uh, trades you make, because every time you make a trade, uh, I get the commission on this. And so I'm going to uh, be sharing my, I might be sharing my commission with, uh da vinci j15 token holders and yeah so uh and also if for a limited time uh we're having a 75 percent off sale on on uh on pandora's wallet and you could join our uh telegram group for the same amount of time so if you're interested in a one month subscription you'll be in our telegram room for one month as well and you'll be able to get access to inti's cool trades <laughs> and whatever uh, trades i'm doing i'm mostly doing the little lady strategy i have no time to do a day trade right now or swing trades or whatever all righty uh next question next inti. question the next question is going to be from yay h mm -hmm. and he asked or she uh, says can you please tell me uh a little bit more about your uh, your literal lady strategy is from brian beamish from the russian investor actually uh in times when altcoins go below all time uh, no atl all-time lows oh yeah once the, uh, 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 a coin goes through an all-time low that's that's danger zone really yeah it's not always the end is not always the end of the world right not always but it's not a good sign, right? Um, so uh, watch out for coins that go to to um, to the uh, to an all time low. It, I talk about that in my videos. In uh, if you want, if you're interested in the little learning the little LED strategy, it's currently free. I will be redoing the videos, and then it won't be free. I just don't know when I'm going to find the time. But anyways, uh, you can find the videos at davincicodes.net. You sign up. Everybody keeps asking me where. I mean, do you know how many times I get asked where these videos are? Do you have videos on how to do the little lady strategy? And so, please, if you, somebody says that, ask me that. Ask in the chat group. Ask in the comment section. Please, you know, send that this link to them, because not not everybody uh, gets this, uh, watches the, the whole show. So, yeah. Uh, 
right here is where you can get some uh, free videos on how to do the little old lady strategy. It's a very effective uh, method to uh, trading the alts and uh, knowing when to buy and when to sell is the key thing. And um, yeah, it doesn't sell. It's not going to make you. Uh, uh, well, I mean, it did make me kind of super rich. But it's not going to make you like Arthur Hayes rich, right? Um, but you will do extremely well, right? Um, Brian Beamish did the same thing um, uh, with um, four hundred fifty dollars, and and he moved up that four hundred fifty dollars to half a million dollars. It's just not like extremely rich, but hey, it did all right. <laughs> that was rich for me. Did I? <laughs> I would take that every day. <laughs> All right, but you have to have some a little bit of patience, of course, in order to do the little lady strategy because it's not it's not instant wealth, please. So nothing is. It's a lot of work. And nothing's and nothing uh, um, is instant wealth, and everything that you have to do in order to make wealth requires work and effort. So consider that when you go into the little lady strategy. All right. Um, next question. Next question. This one, uh, this one is from Twitch. I want to do one from uh, from mm. the guys over there. Mm. Uh, it's very simple, but people that is new to the market, like I was, had very it a uh, very hard time uh, distinguishing a valid W. Yes, it is a difficult thing to do. Um, what I can suggest, you know what, I mean? what I can suggest to help you find a valid W. Right, um, is that you switch from a um, from a, a line chart from a bar chart to a line chart, right? And to do that, um, every single um, chart has one, and that will help you see the W's. So you just switch to a line, and that l sort of gives you a, a a sense of where the W's. Now, notice this. Some people consider this a. a and uh, this is uh, this is for some people consider this a W right here. That's wrong. That's wrong. Why is that? Is because uh, this W is uh, this the V's here on the W are lower. This this one's lower. You gotta look for the W's that look like this here. Let me just draw it out for you. Right. So it's gotta look like this, where it's always higher this point right here this la last V is always higher uh, so this bottom part is always higher than this one and that is a valid W that you want to look for and of course on on the M's right this the opposite is true right this this last one right here has to be lower in order for it to be valid and that's how you um, that's the best way I could su I could suggest to newbies learning how to find W's. And you see, you can see right here, a little bit of a W right there, right? And you can see it It was a small W, and so this, there's only gonna be a small result. And you can see there was a small result from that small W, which took us up here, and that's it. All right, so that's how you find the W's, is what I suggest. Okay, so last question of the day, and then we will uh, call it Okay, so uh, Tap P ask, what's uh, what is the next to do after hyperinflation wipes out all the TA? Hyperinflation will not wipe out TA at all. It will still work even in hyperinflation. It's just, um, uh, yeah, you will you you'll still see pullbacks even in hyperinflation it's just that things will go a little bit crazy so you have to like change your um your uh what's it called your plan your trading plans so basically your trading plans change based on how um the market's reacting you can have a market uh, that's trending market has uh, several states one is trending all right uh, and the other one is um uh, uh sideways action which is um which is ranging Basically, is ranging between uh, a certain uh, level, two two price levels, right? And within those states, um, you must trade the different ways, basically. And so, obviously, um, in a hyperinflationary event, the market is rain trending very, very fat rapidly. <laughs> and so, you can tr you could trade that, of course. 
and you could, you could, the TA will still be working just as well. It's just that, of course, it's a fundamental uh, event in the market that will affect the mar the prices you know, um, of all assets. So yeah, um, that's that's how it's not the end of TA with hyperinflation. All right, well, thank you for that question. Thank you all for for watching today's videos, and thank thank you, seven hundred uh, viewers. Let's see here, um, what how much did we get up to? We we topped we topped out at seven hundred people watching today. And I'm thirty six on Twitch. Yes, and 36 of you guys on Twitch. Thank you very much. Thank you for hitting the like button. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to uh, my uh, my backup channel and subscribe to this channel, of course, as well. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys. I'm not going to do a show on Monday. We're going to actually... Um, we're going to actually do... Uh, broadcast one of our, uh, our uh, uh, Evergreen videos. It's basically a video that's just for general purpose use and uh, for uh, the everyday person who has never heard about bitcoins and I want to want to do more videos about that and, and and not something that's just you know specific hey this it's good for today and that's it I wanted to do something more long term and, and and gives people value over a long term and yeah so that's why I am doing the evergreen videos all right, thank you again for watching, and we will see you guys uh, Tuesday. Bye. Have a great weekend.